hey guys <laughs> sorry i'm getting this camera ready hey guys welcome to my channel if you're new my name is carolina welcome back if you're not new <laughs> i always get that twisted okay anyways today has been a long day <laughs> but um i keep delaying what i've been meaning to talk to you guys about and i can never find the right time like always <laughs> like there's time i just don't set it aside specifically to make a video or my kids are just noisy you guys already know but if you don't know i have three kids and they're noisy and i can't always sit down and make videos where i completely sit down and quiet and talk to you guys but uh, i just got off work and i'm sitting the scenery is so nice i was like you know what i want to talk about this um it's a question that I get asked all the time and a topic that I that always comes up when it comes to um, West Coast University tuition and all that stuff. So um, it's not one specific question. There's several questions within this topic, but pretty much um, what I get asked is, is it worth going to West Coast University for the whole tuition? Um, I just disclaimer. I always have to put this in the video. Um, this is based off of my own knowledge, my experience, what I know, um, and what I've been through with West Coast University uh, regarding finances. I know that everybody's financial situation when they go to West Coast is different. Um, and uh, it's very important to me to make this video because when I wanted to apply to West Coast, there wasn't a lot of uh, videos like this. Uh, talking about the finances involved and tuition uh, involved going up the two <laughs> there was no video regarding tuition finances and all that um when it came to west coast university there was just uh a lot of uh it's too costly don't go there um uh okay so where do i start i'm gonna give you a little backstory and i'm gonna try not to make it too long but um um one of the when i was looking into west coast university uh many many years ago one of the things that actually um seemed sketchy about it was the cost um uh, the cost um not sketchy it was just um i was very discouraged to want to go there because of the cost and obviously it's a private school it's easier to get in the nursing program nursing core is very rigorous but um but it's easier to get into West Coast University for nursing than other schools. So I guess that's, I don't know what, like, what, I don't know why the price is so big. I mean, all I know is that West Coast University is private. Um, and yes, it's the program overall. It's easy to get into West Coast University, but um, uh, it's very challenging at the same time. So I, what, I, what I want people to take away from this is, and, obviously if you're watching this video maybe you're asking is it worth going to west coast university for all that money and um uh damn i forgot what i was gonna say <laughs> sorry i get these brain farts when i just make spontaneous videos like this but there's no other way um and there is that it's a, it'll take too long and i want to get it out to you guys but um for people that are considering going to west coast this is like the main thing that kind of stops them so maybe I can help you in making that decision. I don't want to be the reason why you make that decision, but I want you to kind of know what to expect. Um, because I knew that the cost of it was a lot. However, um, my personal situation was that I transferred in my prerequisites. Uh, there were a few other prerequisites that they required um, before I started nursing core. Everybody goes through that, right? But I wasn't working at the time. So um, when financial, the financial advisor, they were telling me how much I would have to pay. Um, they broke it down into how much, how many grants I was going to get. Um, well, financial aid, uh, Cal grants, and how many federal, how much I qualified for federal loans that I would later have to pay. But it's federal, so it's like, it's separate from a private loan. So after they told me how much financial aid I was going to get, they told me that was going to cover some portion of the tuition. 
um and then they told me cal grants how much i qualified for that so then that's another thing that they added on to uh, covering the tuition um also um, after that they go to the next thing which is federal student loans and um after that what after that difference i had to come up with the rest of the money either through personal like uh, out of pocket or i could uh they told me which banks i could uh, try to apply to for private loans um and that's what i did so i went with sally may and um I want to give you specific numbers but you know every month since I started has varied because interest has accumulated um, and I have been paying my private loan interest since I started West Coast University I had given $25 per month per loan so it started off with one loan then two then three and then like I got dismissed and went back I had to get another one and uh, so I have four private loans with Sally Mae. So in my account, there's four separate loans. And together, just with private loans, I have rounding up uh, like 85,000 something. So 85,000 just private loans, okay? And I would have had less. I would have had like 60 something, maybe 70,000. No like 65,000 just for the schooling, but I got out an extra 15 to 20,000. Mm, yeah, maybe less. I'm just rounding up between 10 and 15,000 more um because of um COVID and I wasn't working and my mom usually before like I wasn't working regardless before the pandemic, but my mom was working, so we like met each other halfway with rent, with bills and stuff like that. But since COVID hit, my mom wasn't working but like once a week so i had to take over most of the expenses so i took out extra private loans so that's why i have a total of eighty-five thousand private loans and i'm getting personal here but this is just so you guys are aware i wanted to share my personal my personal details and i'm not going into detail but uh, that's like the number of the private loans that i have the amount okay and it's a lot of money okay but i will get to the reasoning why i chose to go there even like even after i knew how much money it was gonna be okay so it would have been less but i took extra out each time i asked for the next loan right i requested a little more um and not everybody's gonna get the same student loan bank because they all require different they all select people for different reasons you may need a co-signer i personally did not need a co-signer um yeah, so I have 85,000 right now as of February. Uh, I have 85,000 in private loans with Sally Mae. Okay, let's go to federal loans because I did another portion uh, was from federal loans. Throughout the whole tuition, I got a total of, I believe, rounding up, I think it's 38,000 from federal loans. So right now, Biden has paused is currently he extended the pause for interest that accumulates uh with federal loans so that is giving me a bit of um relief um i okay so yeah so thirty-eight thousand from federal loans and uh, this is just rounding up and eighty-five thousand with private loans either way it's a lot of money um so yeah i have a little over a hundred thousand in student loan debt and um I don't have much I don't have a lot of other credit card debt um, uh, obviously because I didn't work during school I did accumulate some credit card debt um, I have a few thousand in credit card in one credit card debt um, but it's not that much I'm gonna actually pay it off because I've been working right so I've been I already paid off I had two other small little credit cards like Carter's and um, TJ Maxx I paid those off like the first month that I started working and um, so I'm working on this last credit card and then after that all I have are student loans so my total debt right now is over a hundred and twenty thousand uh, including the credit card um, debt and it's very embarrassing and since uh, it's been like a year and a half since I started um, listening to Dave Ramsey okay so a few months before I graduated nursing school I knew 
the amount of debt that I was going to have. I knew that I was going to have a lot of debt. So I started looking at uh, YouTube videos where I can get help and how to when and how to start paying off debt. So I, um, I bumped into, not bumped into, but you know, I came across Dave Ramsey's um, YouTube channel and uh, he talks a lot about finances. There's a lot of people that do not like Dave Ramsey's methods and I personally do not follow him to the T. I try to as best as I can, I'm still learning, but it's a process and it's very personal too. So um, I've been, I've, um, I'm on, I'm, I'm blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I am on a budget. I have always been on a budget. Um, I've always lived, uh, well, I wouldn't say I lived below my means because then I wouldn't have credit card debt, but um, I don't really, um, spend or use credit cards for nonsense um I mean uh, in Dave's eyes maybe Dave Ramsey's eyes maybe uh <laughs> I would get a lot of shit for it <laughs> but you know what it is what it is I have this debt now so I'm trying to learn as best as I can with what I have now with what the situation is I do not plan on getting on no more credit card debt I want to I'm on a journey to be um uh debt free okay so um, and I'm still young, but you know, these choices, I wish that I knew because, you know, Dave Ramsey on his channel, he talks a lot about, um, don't go to these private schools. They charge too much to me personally. The reason why I chose to go to West coast was because I wanted to finish faster. I was desperate. I did not know about Dave Ramsey and his like, um, advice before. Um, but to me, I was like, okay, well debt is scary but at the time i wasn't really scared of debt like the way that i saw it um and i'm being honest here i my my views on debt are very much different now but i'm talking about when i just started west coast because i felt desperate first of all and i didn't really know much about like okay how do i apply to scholarships and like all this stuff like i felt like i didn't have any time to do that so um um i chose to go to west coast because i wanted to be in nursing school and get working really really fa faster than I would if I would have gone to a traditional school so and I know that a lot of people feel this way because a lot of people have reached out to me and they're like like do you think it's worth it for this amount like I do want to finish faster and this and that or there's no other choice or whatever the situation is but to me it felt worth it because to me um um to me it was like okay yeah I'm gonna get into debt but I'm gonna have a good job after and I'll pay for it and then I'll pay for it uh, by budgeting um, right and, and that's not the smartest thing to do now but it's like I mean it is what it is for me anyways so I'm stuck in the middle I feel like when I give that advice to people because it's like I had a very positive experience with West Coast and I finished um, in a reasonable time even though I got dismissed I went back I still finished and now I have a job I'm looking for new grad residency programs and I know that it doesn't matter where I apply or where I choose to take my career um, because I know that nursing is for me so I'm not I'm not iffy about it um, I know that I can pay this debt off and it's not ideal because um, I do want to buy a house. I do want to do all these things, but I also have to limit myself a little bit. I don't feel very like 100% restricted. I know Dave Ramsey says rice and beans, beans and rice, which is what I already eat anyway at my house. <laughs> but um, sometimes, occasionally, I do splurge, and you know, I write things in my budget that I want to do. You know, every month is different. Every month's budget is different. So you know. <sighs> The advice that I would give somebody, like it's really hard when I give advice because I don't want to make that decision for them or have people feel like they went into debt because I advised them to. That's a very personal uh, decision, but I do want to say that, I do want to say that for me it was worth it and I am very excited and I still cry about it. <laughs> Although I have this big, big debt. Um, so. I would say that consider West Coast if it's your last resort. Um, and I say this because not to bash the school, but it is very expensive. So if you can get in somewhere else for cheaper, like, yes, like go for it. Um, I know that sometimes it could be like very 
like you, you you will feel desperate because it's like damn like this program is two or three years long this other one is four years like i want to work already but it, like especially if you don't have any kids like there is no rush especially if you go for your adn first and then you have to go to your bsn your bs your adn you will finish in two years um two years i believe um and then after that to get your BSN, it's much faster. It's one year. It's not the whole, or a year, or two years. I'm not sure how much, how long after, ADN to BSN. So, um, so just explore your options um, before you consider West Coast. Like I felt, I felt like that's what I did though, um, with the GPA that I had and being competitive and all that stuff. Like I felt like I, all the other options were like out the door. Um, so that's why I chose West Coast again. But I did meet a lot of people at West Coast with a lot of different reasons why they were there, different financial uh, situations. They were working and then paying some of it off. That way they de decreased the amount of loans. A lot of people were like me too. They thought the same way. They thought, um, you know what? It's okay if I get into debt, although it's not okay. But the way that they saw it at that time was like, okay, I'm getting into debt, but I'll pay it off later by working or budgeting and stuff like that you know um you know it's amazing if, if if you can go to school without having any loans um some of my friends also their parents help them take out some loan like a parent loan and they're paying half and then they are paying some like another portion something like that so everybody's situation is different i just wanted to come on here and tell you guys my situation and my numbers um I feel like I am very good with money. I don't overspend. I do take my kids out to Disneyland. I take them out to the park. I take them out to the beach. We go to, well, right now we can't really go to restaurants, but um, I'll order takeout once in a while. I try not to, but, <laughs> but you know, um, that's still something that I personally am working on because this whole financial thing, I was never taught this as a child growing up like I was taught to like okay save money but not how to do it so I've been learning this in my adult age my mom didn't know about colleges expenses and finance and all of that she never saved up money for me to go to college she didn't know so and that's okay but I've been think figuring it out myself um with Dave Ramsey most of the time, but there are other channels and advice that I do also take. So I've been doing this binder budgeting system, you know, so I try to incorporate that too, just so I feel like all my money isn't going to um, this debt, although it should maybe, but I also wanna be able to save for like, save for like Christmas. So that's another way, uh, there's like this savings challenge that I've been doing. So it's just a little bit of money from like the beginning of the year, January, um, saving a little bit of money every paycheck. That way, but by the time that I get to Christmas time, I already have money saved up. And that way I don't feel like I'm spending my whole paychecks during November and December and I don't go broke, right? Because December is usually the month where everybody goes broke and it's a credit card debt and that's not what we're trying to do here, okay? So <laughs> we're already like almost 20 minutes into this video. I hope I covered everything. It, I, there's just so much to say and I can ramble and you know go on a different tangent all the time but I, I wanted to get that video off my back because it's something that I've been wanting to discuss for a while so uh, with federal loans and private loans you don't have to pay until like after six months from when you graduated so I just started giving my big payments in January last month is the six month mark for me. I did not refinance my private loans or my federal loans. Um, my total, because the payments for the federal loans are uh, extended or postponed for now. Um, um, I'm not giving any payments for that. Um, I did give like this big interest payment of almost $500 way back in October of 21. And then ever since then, I've been giving $100, which is going to principal. No interest is taken from that because it's on pause right now. So I'm kind of taking advantage a little bit. Um, but most of my paycheck is going off for this credit card debts that I've been paying off since October. I'm almost done. And, um, and then all I have to do is knock out these student loans because that's all I will have. Um, 
so my total um, monthly payments for just a private loan a month is like 900 something but I give a thousand um, for now um, this video is all over the place but because if you don't know who Dave Ramsey is like his teaching is to like the called, is it called the, the snowball method it's where you pay the smallest debt to the biggest debt so I already paid my smallest credit card debts and then I'm going to the biggest ones the private loan is the biggest one so I'm not worried about that right now but I am giving a little bit more than the minimum payment only because of the interest but um uh but yeah so that's what I'm doing right now <laughs> yeah so um I'm trying to think of anything else that I might be forgetting when it comes to this financial okay I didn't okay so I did not refinance or consolidate my loans um I don't want to give the reason why I just didn't um, um I just I don't know I didn't feel the need to do it like a lot of people refinance or consolidate because they want a smaller interest and a smaller minimum payment just to give the minimum payment I'm all about you know what the loan that I got it is what it is uh, I'm gonna pay it off uh, as much money as I can so it's not like I'm trying to get the minimum payment because I want to give as much as possible if that makes any sense I don't even know if I'm making sense or if it's even the right move it just feels like the right move right now so so yeah um, let me turn on my car uh, and I guess I guess that is it guys I will talk to you guys in another video I'm sure you guys are gonna have a lot of questions uh, I'm trying to keep some stuff limited like I'm not trying to like say everything involving my finances but I do kind of want to tell you guys at least those numbers. I'm, I mean, I don't know. It's not a secret. I mean, it's not like a secret secret, you know. But um, it is what it is. I mean, judge me for all that I had to pay <laughs> for nursing school. Um, I mean, it is stupid. It's stupid. Dave Ramsey will say it straight up. It's stupid to pay that much money for a nursing degree. But do I regret it? I'm sorry, but I don't. <laughs> like yes i feel bummed out about the whole debt that i have but at the same time like i don't regret it um i'm starting my career i will pay that debt off and i will be debt free one day soon hopefully within five years i feel like i can pay all of that in less than five years five and less or less but i'm serious about this i'm not going to let my debt sit and accumulate interest i'm giving a little bit more than um, minimum payments right now because I still have this credit card debt as soon as that's over I'm gonna go and hit hard the the federal debt the federal loan debt and then the private loan so um, if you guys want me to make more videos about this later on you know follow me on my journey to be debt free if that interests you then uh, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow this journey and yeah ask any questions down below if there's enough questions i'll make another video if there's not a lot of questions then i'll just answer it individually all right <laughs> bye guys <laughs>